Behind us is Detai Stadium, and coming up Friday night, the Lummery Plains will make their home debut for 2020, taking on the Campbell County Camels alongside fourth-year head coach Clint Reed. And I know last week was kind of disappointing to you. Talk a little bit about adjustments you've made you know, moving forward here, game one to game two. Well, the big thing is, is after a first game, you get some film. And when you get some film, it just doesn't lie. So now we can work on some specific things. You know, you try to identify them in fall camp. You try to identify them in the week, but nothing is like film. Talk about Campbell County. What do you kind of anticipate here, game two from the Camels? You know, uh, you know, it's a proud program. You know, and still with the changes they made with the split with Thunder Basin and, and the Camels, um, you know, their numbers are coming back up. They're they're growing in size. They're still big and strong up front. They still got athletes. You know, it's twelve back there as the quarterback is a little bit of guy who'll do everything. He'll run it. He'll throw it. He'll catch it. He's talking about Caden Race, the quarterback. Uh, the, you got uh, I think Will Miller, Hunter Kramer, Dominic Banster, some of the skilled guys. Uh, what are they like size-wise? You know, they're decent size too. Uh, again, um, no different than us. You know, we got some size, but we got to make sure we can move. <laughs> you know, and we didn't move very well against Sheridan. So hopefully, we've got our steps down. We, you know, and I think it was more mental that made us slow. It wasn't that we're not fast enough. It's just mentally maybe we're a little bit behind on our assignment. So hopefully, the film got it straightened out. We've got our guys moving, and same with Gillette. You know, they've got some big guys too, but they got to be able to move, and we're going to see who's ready to get after it. Let me ask you this, do you feel like your squad was maybe a little too timid last week and, and hopefully they kind of come out a little bit looser and ready to go this week? You know, it could have been a mixture of everything, as you said. You know, it could have been a little bit of anxiety or, or nervousness for the first game. Um, it could have been for that preparation. You know, here, here we have the state champions here. Um, I, I like to believe that not all of that isn't what necessarily got into it. I just think that, you know, when we got one step behind, um, we were playing catch up a little bit and we weren't sure how to get back into it, you know, mentally, yeah. emotionally, physically. Um, I think we started to see improvements as the game went. So hopefully, uh, you know, it's on us coaches to make sure we start off fast. It is a six o'clock kickoff. It's also senior night and you're going to do senior night festivities before the game, approximately about 515. So you want to get here early. There's a 19 member senior class. I know you want to wrap that up around 535, 540 at the latest so you can get back in, talk to the team and then bring it back out, get them ready for the game. What are your thoughts on one, senior night so early, but two, a 19 member senior class? No, that's, that's what you push for. You know, if you can reach that 20 mark, you start to have some depth in your program. You start to have um, leadership in your program that way too. You know, um, they start holding each other accountable. They start rallying together. They, they build relationships on and off the field. This group, many of them been together since a young age. We have a few kids that joined them and that blended real well. And that's been a theme that me and you have talked about for weeks now. So I'm excited for them senior night, regardless which game it is a senior night, it's still senior night. And uh, you know, you still got to think about that. You never know how many more weeks we get to play. So. Uh, we'll make it count tonight, or not tonight, I guess, this Friday. So. Yeah, absolutely, and, and, and yeah, that's that's the big deal, why they're moving senior night up, and that's kind of a trend nationwide, is get your senior night in, honor your seniors, in case something does happen, the season does come to an end. Again, 6 o'clock kickoff, thanks so much for your time, and thanks to the band even for providing a little background music for us there as we get ready for the Plainsmen and the Camels. 6 o'clock kickoff, again, the senior night recognition begins about 5.15 here at Detai Stadium, which is behind us. You can join Aaron Lozano, myself, in the broadcast call on KOWB. We start at 5 o'clock. You can also listen anywhere with the KOWB mobile app.